Hey, what's going on guys? It's Orak here back at you with yet another video for Ming Tech Media. And in today's video, we're gonna be discussing the pair class. Now, the pair class was added after about Java 7 and it's really a convenience class that allows you to create a key value association between two numbers or values or whatever you're trying to store. And it kind of differs from a hash map and I'm gonna show you the nuances and the differences between pair and a hash map in a bit. Its method list isn't really long, so I'm gonna go over some of the methods as well. I'm gonna try and keep this tutorial very concise, yet I wanna make it exhaustive so you can come away from it knowing and really feeling like you really understand the pair class. But first, if this is your first time on my video or any of my channel, just videos, I make software engineering videos for people who are trying to level up, get into tech, are trying to build their skills, pass technical interviews, or just become better Java programmers, better software engineers in general. So if that's of any value to you, I encourage you to smash that subscribe button, smash that like button and hit that bell notification button so you'll be notified when I do make content like this. But without further ado, I'm gonna take you to the code and the slides and I'm gonna show you how this pair class works so you have a better understanding of it. All right guys, so we're back and I'm gonna just talk about the pair class a little bit. Um, so what is a pair class in Java? A pair is an object that stores exactly one key and one value, right? And it was introduced in Java 8 in the javafx.util package, and it inherits from the object. So, you know, a lot of, almost every um, class inherits from objects. So it's gonna contain those additional methods. The method interface is, is very short and concise for pair as well. I think there's only like four or five methods. It's not long at all. Um, and I'm going to take you over to the Java docs so we can just take a look at it and just talk more about it before I take you to the code. Um, another thing to note about pairs is that they cannot store primitives. So only complex objects can be stored in a pair. Also, the default delimiter for a pair is two, uh, for the two string method is the equal sign. So whereas you'd have like a colon or a comma, uh, with uh, within parentheses like for other sort of data structures for a pair it's an equal sign and the workaround for that is to implement your own custom two string method or some other print function um, which takes the key and values and uses other strings uh, to wrap around that so it can be presented in uh, the form that is normal or you know most common out there uh, another thing to note about pair is the hash code function is available to you if you want to store a pair in a hash map or for just more general security purposes. And also on the topic of hashing, uh, it's not used for implemented hashing. And the keys and the values in a pair or the key and value because it's one exact key and one value of a pair, they don't relate to each other, right? Um, and one of the main differences between a pair and a hash map is a pair is exactly one key and one value, whereas a hash map is a little bit more of a complex object with many keys and many values and they associate and relate to each other. And you can operate on all those values, right? Whereas pair is just one value that you can operate on. And it's a very limited set of operations that you can do on a pair. Um, with its given functions, unless you implement some sort of custom class to uh, work or custom functions to work on a pair, um, the method signatures, including the ones that it inherits from object is pretty much all you get with a pair. All right, moving on. So when do you use a pair class? Um, one of the main reasons to use a pair class is when you need a key value pair that needs to pass to that needs to be passed to a method as an argument. That's a great example of when to use a pair um, because it restricts, you know, the passer or the caller to only using a pair and only one key and one value to that method, whereas the hash map or this or that might tend to over conflate things. Um, uh, a method needs to return exactly two values in a pair. I spelled method wrong, but bear with me. Um, so when you need to only re return one key and value, you can just use a pair. And that's a, an excellent example. Um, so what are alternatives to a pair? There is quite a few. I'm gonna list some of the more common ones or three of the more common ones. You have collections.singleton map, 
um, you have abstract map dot single entry and map entry or map dot entry those three things I will not really discuss at all or actually I won't discuss at all because they're beyond the scope of this tutorial and the Java docs are there for you to go and research these things on your own maybe in the future I might make a tutorial on some of these things but for now I'm just talking about the pair class all right so now I'm gonna take you over the Java doc so we can see a couple more things about pair before we go into the code so where's that all right, so I've got the docs pulled up here and I'll include this in a link in the description. Um, one thing to note about pair as well is that it also implements the serializable interface, right? Um, like I said, it, it's appeared in Java 8 in the fx.util package. And this is the list of the methods. Like I said, uh, I was right, it only has five methods and then the additional other methods that it inherits from object. So you can see the method list is very, very short. You have a get key, you have a get value, you have the two string, you have the hash code and you have the equals. One thing to note about a method like the equals is that if you have another pair that has the exact same um, uh, key and exact same values, it will return true for this method. It will also return the same hash code if you have the same key and the same value for that pair. So it's a little different from a hash map or other objects in Java. All right. So, um, like I said, the method, the method signature is very short, nothing really to go over here. And I'll include this link in the description for you to go over it more in depth, but let me take you to the code so you can see how the pair works. All right, I'm back and I'm in my Eclipse workspace and I've got a little program that I've written out that I want to show you guys. Um, so um, I've created a pair class, a pair example class here in my uh, Eclipse. And I've created a method called two max vowels. And what that does is it sorts in a given input array and it finds the two maximum values in that, uh, in that array and it returns it as a pair. So uh, I'm not gonna go too much into the implement and implementation details of this method, but briefly, I just sort the array with arrays.sort. I um, get the, the uh, length, which is array length minus one, um, and I get the first, uh, the first in that pair, or the second to last, and then the last, and I return those results as a pair, right? and return a result made a pair blah blah return it so i have like uh let me just space so you guys can see i have uh uh in my main method here an array that i've created and then after i created that array with these values that are not sorted just random numbers that came to mind i um went out and printed this with the two max val function that i created above here with this test array, right? So looking at this array, we got a three minus four, nine, 12, 15, seven, 22, eight, 13, and a one. So obviously the highest value is gonna be 22. And the second highest value is going to be a 15. So if I do a system out that print, I should get a 15 and a 22, right? So let me run this. And that's exactly what I got. Now, remember when I said that the delimiter is an equal sign, that's what you're going to get if you print out a pair. Now, a workaround around this is to have your own sort of uh, print function that you've created. I'm not going to really create one here because I'm trying to make this tutorial concise, but that is something that you can do if you needed to, if you wanted it to sort of be presented in a different way when it's printed. But all in all, this is uh, how um, you, you work with pair. I'm gonna show you a couple other methods, mainly just to get key and to get value. So what you can do is, let me just comment this out. You can do, so, okay. So you're gonna have a pair. Um, I'm gonna say pair integer. In integer new 
equals to that new equals to uh, oh dang new is a keyword in Java okay new hair all right there we go all right um so when we get that then we do new pair and then we do dot get key and then new pair dot get value i just want to show you how these methods work um i'm gonna do sys out dot print where's print line print and I've been learning Python so I totally forgot how to do some of the shortcuts in Eclipse for uh, you know Java but let's just run this let me run this Okay, we just got the keys. We didn't really print it. Oh man, what am I doing? Um, so copy that, paste that in here, remove that semicolon, remove, we don't need that, we don't need that. We can just copy this again, and we can just paste that down here. And then we say get value, right? And then we run it, we should get our values. Yeah, so sorry about all that, but <clears throat> yeah. So this is how you work with the pair class. So we, mainly you can just get the key, the value, you can get the hash code. Let me also show you those methods. Get, what is this, hash code, hash code right and you know print that out let's see what that comes up with see so this is the hash code this is 7214 right now um i remember when i said that uh if we were to create another pair with the same exact value so let's just say we did this we printed that and we say new pair two underscore two right um Again, we're gonna get the same exact values. So if we printed, let me just copy this out again and do that. And then instead of new pair, we do new pair underscore two. And we run that. You see that we got 7214, 7214 again. And these are two, te two technically two different pairs, but since they have the same values, they're gonna print out the same hash code. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much, and then the equals, it's gonna return true, like I said. Um, that's uh, pretty much all the methods besides the two string. Um, let me just write the equals out really, really quick. So that should say true or should print out true, and it does. So yeah, like I said, very short method uh, summary or method list um, equals get key, get value, hash code, and two string. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, you know, a very concise, small class, and it's really just a convenience class that is used to, uh, return two values that you really don't need to do too much work on. Um, but yeah, this is the pair class. I hope I was able to explain these, uh, methods and this class in general. It's very, very useful, very, very useful. It's like, you know, something that uh, you can use for, I, I use it mainly when I'm solving like all these like leak code sort of problems, or if I'm like at work and I need to, uh, you know, sort of return two values, um, you know, this is very useful in general. It's just like one of those super cool convenience classes that was added in Java. Um, but yeah, that's it. Uh, that's it for this tutorial. Uh, thanks for sticking around. And I hope, like I said, you were able to understand this. Um, like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And you have a blessed day wherever you might be.